Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are going to be building another World War One looking tank, which looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so first off, we're going to go ahead and start making this thing a little bit thinner, because I want to be able to see all of the tracks all the way around whenever I can, so that's what I'm doing. We're also then going to go ahead and extend this downwards, and hopefully we can actually make this look pretty sick, before we start building the World War One tank properly. So, let's go ahead and leave that like that. We'll actually extend it to eight meters long, which is kind of crazy. That is really, really big, but that's okay. And we'll make it three meters wide. There we go. That is actually pretty enormous. Uh, if we go to the, long, the, the, the lower part, there we go. We can actually make that one. Uh, and that is actually, yeah, a good height for me. I like Okie okay, dokie, so if we go to the turret, we'll actually go ahead and get rid of the turret altogether because we don't need it anymore because we're building a World War One tank, okay? That just makes sense. <laughs> they don't really have turrets on the top, they have them on the sides and that's it, so there you go. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this on like this, here we go. Uh, we're going to angle this in quite a chunk as well because I think that makes sense and um, yeah, we'll have a pretty flat facing front. I think that, yeah, I think that works, cool. Okie dokie, so with that being done, let's go ahead and extend this backwards as well. We'll have a pretty angled front end, and I think that does work. Let's just make this back to 8, there we go. Okay, cool. Now for the actual firepower, let's go ahead and put a manlet on this thing. Um, I am actually- oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's really weird. It looks strange, uh, and it would work, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do a light manlet, and it's probably just going to be something like this. Uh, just whacked on the front, but- I'm not sure how I want to do it. Yeah, something like that, but actually not really. Oh god. Okay, this is more tricky than I thought it was going to be. Uh, right, let's go for a medium one of those. There we go. Medium one of those. No, that doesn't work either. Because I want the tracks to face, like, I want the tracks to point out in front of us. So if we go to mobility, we go to tracks. Can I actually drag this out and forwards? Yeah, I guess I can. Kind of like this. There we go. Awesome. Uh, right, and then the rollers... We're going to have at the top, here we go, height, all the way up here. There we go, very good. We're going to go to fenders, and we're actually going to get rid of them. There we go, awesome. And then at the rear, I kind of want this to all fit as well, if I can. So go back to base. We're actually going to drag this forwards. There we go, and we're going to drag this. How do I do this bit? How do I actually move that bit in? I, I don't think I can, actually. Because it's all to do with this. Oh, God. Can I not actually... I can't actually do anything with this bit, can I? I can't. I can't do it. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with something like that. That looks really, really weird, but I like okay, it. Okay, so with that being said, then, let's go back to mobility and try and figure these bits out. Um, do, 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 do. Tracks. Uh, let's go with thickness really thick. There we go. And then if I can make the return rollers go in the right place, that would be awesome, too. So... I need to make this one and this one disappear. So let's go ahead and do this. Spacing. Oh no, that's not even the right things. Uh, these. Forwards. Here we go. Here we go. Somewhat like this. Oh yes. No, that actually fits. That totally works. Nice. Okie dokie. So with that in, let's go to um, du -du 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 crew. There we go. Let's go to structural and we'll try and put in one of these uh, right about here. <laughs> Okay, now this might work, it might also not work, so we make it as big as we possibly can. And we put it in right there. Okay, and that attaches us to the actual sides, and I think that works. Yeah, we'll then grab another one, and we'll put it a little bit further backwards. There we go, like this. And then we're totally attached to the sides. That's awesome. Yeah, you know what, that totally works. We'll leave it just like that. Okie okay, dokie, okay. it's now time for everything else. So go back to mobility, go to the fenders, there we go, and we'll actually go to the riveted plates straight away, and we'll start adding these guys. Now, these guys are going to be added uh, pretty much all the way along. However, we need to make sure they fit properly. So this is actually going to fit just like this. There we go. And we're going to try and put this guy right here on the front as well. Just like that. There we go. And that is actually pretty awesome. So we'll drag this forwards to there. Okay. We'll put this guy right attached to this. Just like this. There we go. And we'll attach another one. Uh, just like that. There we go. We'll attach another one. Just like this. 
There we go. And we'll keep this going all the way to the back. Okie dokie. So now we're actually at the back. Let's go ahead and start using these pieces to uh, to make it fit a little bit better. So hopefully this won't look too weird. Uh, and we'll be able to add it. There we go. Somewhat like this. There we go. And that looks really, really bad. Because this angle is nowhere near as big as that. So I'm not sure how I'm actually supposed to fill that section in. <laughs> I really don't know. Unless I keep this going. Kind of like this. Until we get very close to the back, I guess. Somewhat like this, but then this isn't attached to anything. But that's okay, because we can somewhat fix that to get... Oh, we can do this. This is okay. All right, do this. There we go. And then for the last one, we'll actually attach one of these guys, which will be the same as this one. So we'll put this right here. Like this. And you know what? That totally works. That's fine. Okie dokie. So we need to figure out how to actually attach those on properly. So we got a crew, we got a structural, and we grab one of these guys. Here we go, just like this. And we put it right there. We make it really big. Here we go. Just like this. And we can actually attach that right onto there. And we can continue to do it all the way forwards. Until we get to a point where we don't need them anymore. And that'll totally work. Here we go. Go a little bit further forwards. Whack this under here. They're all attached to something now, and that that is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so now I was thinking that maybe in mobility, like this isn't tall enough for how wide it is or how long it is. So I don't know. If we go to base, can we actually make it a little bit skinnier? 2.5. 2. 2.5. There we go. We'll actually go with 2.5. Yeah, that works. That totally works. All right, very cool. So now we go to firepower. There we go. Get ourselves a medium manlet and we'll put it to the side. There we go. Okie doke. Actually, we'll put it right in the middle if we can. I can't seem to put this in. There we go. We'll put it right there. That's pretty good. I don't know what keeps happening with the camera, but that's all right. I have previously built something like this as well, but not quite like to this extent. So we'll leave it as is for right now. We'll go ahead and put some crew hatches on the front. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put the crew hatches on the top right there. Okay, very cool. Viewports, we'll actually add some of those. Good. We'll add a gunner's sight just above the manlet. And we'll actually put a driver's sight right here at the side. There we go. And then anti-infantry. We'll actually put one of those right about the there. Okay, very cool. That's good. All right, so utilities. Is there anything we really, really need for this thing? Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some logs on the back. Because I think we should. There we go. So we'll put a log right there. Put a log behind it. And we'll just have two. Okay. Now these are going to be used for pulling. So we'll go ahead and put those there. We'll put those there. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else that we really, really need? Those guys? Yes. Okay. And then probably one of these. There we go. That actually looks pretty sick so far. I like it. Alrighty. Let's go for a one of these. Let's go for a one of these. Uh, we're going to put this right in the center. We're going to make it a little bit bigger than it is currently, and we'll put it right there. Okay, cool. If I can, I'm going to move this backwards to a certain point about there. Okay, and that totally works. Actually, let's put these sideways and put them a little bit lower, and then we can make this bigger. There we go. Okay, yeah, that actually looks pretty sick to me. I like it. Okay, lights. We'll go ahead and keep those the same size. That's okay. We'll go ahead and make them a little bit bigger for the back end. That's all right, too. And then a mini antenna on the very back, just like so. Okay, stowages. Can I actually add... No. There's no... There's no real, like, place for these guys. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I can make some small ones for the front. Kind of like this, but that's just weird, isn't it? That is a little bit strange. I don't know if I like those. So we're going to get rid of them. There we go. Okay, lights are already on. Utilities are already done. That's okay. Uh, riveted panels would be kind of cool for this. It is World War One, uh, and welders were not a thing. I don't think. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but we'll we'll attach one of these over literally every single one of these guys. There we go. Okay, another one, right about there, and then possibly some more back here. There we go, somewhere like there, and a little bit further back, like there. Okay, cool. Riveted parts have been added. Anything else that we need? I, I guess one of these would be cool. Uh, but because we're so wide, we actually need two, so we'll put those on. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay, so now that we've got all that done, let's go ahead and try and do the engine stuff, make this thing actually work. We'll also put this thing in World War One. There we go, that means that we've already added too much space, or too much weight. But I believe that is because the, the armor, the base armor, is actually higher than it can actually be. 
There we go. So 40, 40, 40. This should be like 20. This should be like 20. Uh, 30 should go down to 20. 40 should go down to 30. There we go. There we go. There we go. 75. It just can't be. <laughs> so we'll actually have the sides being 30 as well. And the lower section, 30 as well. Uh, the mid, rear, is actually going to be 30. Actually, it's all going to be 20 on the rear. There we go. 20, 20, 20, and 20. There we go. So we're actually building this in the World War One setting now. So all of this should actually be fine. Okay, I'm so confused. What has actually gone on here? What is, what is even happening right here? What the heck? All right, let me redo all of this all the way down the sides. Because for some reason... It ain't it. It ain't working. What in the world? There we go. Alright, is that worked on both sides? No, because this is actually not in the right place. There. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to do this all the way backwards again, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie, we've actually fixed all of those into position, which is awesome, because that's what they needed. And yes, that is actually a-okay. Uh, but now, we actually need to move all of these guys, because for some reason... For some reason, everything's got smaller or something? I don't know what's going on there, but we need to move that to there. We need to... No, put that back. Put that back right there. There we go. We need to get rid of all these ones as well. So get rid of that guy, get rid of that guy. And there might be another one down there, but I'm not sure. So we need to grab this and put it on the same place. Grab this one, move it along, put it on the same place. And that's all good. Yes! Okay, it's not actually good because it hasn't done it on both sides. That's annoying. All right, there we go. Grab this one, both sides, and whack it in right there. Okay, very cool. That actually looks awesome. I really, really like this thing. Okay, so as for, like, engines and stuff, we're going to go to mobility. There we go. We're going to go to the engine, and we're actually going to have them go as far back as we possibly can. Now, the reason being is because... Oh, actually, let's, let's do that. A double, a double back one. I never do it in the middle, but we're going to. Uh, the reason I want it to be as far back as possible is because when we go over trenches and stuff, we want all of the weight to be at the back so that when we go over, we don't actually, like, fall in, if that makes sense, until the last second. So that's actually pretty good, having it all the way back there. We're then going to have, I don't know, 100 litres of fuel. There we go. That's very nice. Uh, and if we do have the 100 litres of fuel, we can then actually add these guys to the back end right here, and the fuel tank can actually be right in the middle. There we go, so the fuel's back here as well. That's awesome. Anything else that needs doing to this uh, this land slug? I'm not sure. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no, and there's no undo button. There's literally no undo button. So, that's annoying. Alright, it's a little bit higher than the rest of them, but that's okay. Right, okay, so now that that's done, I think we've got everything. So now, we just go to mobility, we go to engine, we make sure it moves. There we go, slow, that's fine. Go to advanced, make this 1 point, 1 point 1.2. There we go, it's kind of crazy, it's a big amount. Um, and then we go for... Do, 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 1, 600. There we go, we go for half of that, 800. There we go. And we go for one six hundred once again, and no, wh whoa, one, one, one six hundred. There we go, three point three horsepower per ton. That's really slow, but it's a World War One tank, so it should be. All right, cool, let's go. Yes, all right, that's actually pretty sick. I like it. Uh, I feel like it should be way taller, but at the moment that's okay. Uh, what else am I thinking? What else am I thinking? There is definitely something else that I'm th I'm thinking. Um, crew? No. Is it crew? I guess it is. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We can add another person, and they can be our radio guy. There we go. Awesome. Um, livery would be kind of sick if we can have a livery. But what I'm thinking is, we actually make it sort of blue. Yes. Blue. There we go. Kind of like this. Brightness down. Hell of a lot. Probably this kind of blue, actually. Saturation down. Hell of a lot, too. There we go. That actually looks pretty sick. Like okay, it. so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and actually get this thing moving then. So, all we need to do is... Oh yeah, that's the last thing that I need to remember. We need to go to firepower, we need to actually give it azimuth. Azimuth, so we can actually turn the gun. 
There we go. We'll just give it maximum because we can. There we go. Elevation is, is apparently zero right now. <laughs> but that's okay. We can fix that if we go into here. So we got a 75 millimeter gun. We're going to go with a 60 instead. We're going to go with a 0.4 with this thing. There we go. Uh, and then we just need to move the barrel to fit with that. And that's okay. So a very tiny barrel, apparently. Oh, wait, what? Why do I always build them like this? This doesn't make any sense. It's like it, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. How do I make it better? Jesus. Okay, right. So the length needs to go forwards. There we go. Yeah. And then we can actually do it like that, but that's not right. That ain't it. That ain't it. No, no, no. Okay, we're going to go to 70. There we go. Length of the barrel really short. There we go as well. And that'll do. That'll totally do. Unless we make it a tiny bit shorter with this one. There we go. Alright, that's our barrel. <laughs> that looks awful. It looks so bad. Alright, whatever. Uh, length, a little bit more. There we go. We're going to roll with this. This does not make sense, but whatever. But this is what we've got. All right, here we go. We reload in like two seconds. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and spawn in our enemy, which is going to be the Centurion, because it always is. And see how we deal with that. I can't seem to turn the tank. There we go. I can't even see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got a late war tank up against me. Not the best. Not the best at all. I can't actually... I can't do anything to it. Oh. 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 No. I don't think I can kill it. I can oh, I'm stuck. Oh, Jesus. I just went up a hill. That's not, not right. Hiya! There we go. No. Not dead. Okay, try again. No. Not dead. Okay, right. So we can't kill it because it's got way more armor than I do, which is unfortunate. Or oh, then I can't even have. Wait, what? We're missing a piece. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> right, okay. So, we need to put that back. So, let's go ahead and put it back. There we go. Something like... Oh, is it in there? There, we'll leave it like that. That's okay. Alright, cool. So, now that we've actually got all the sides on, that's fine. We need to go up against something from World War One, and that'll be pretty good. Also, if we go to mobility, we go to tracks. There we go. Go to suspension. Get rid of all this. There we go. And our rest angle really high. Oh, my God. That looks silly. That looks so silly. What is that? No, less. Somewhat like this. There we go. 30. All right. That makes sense. Good. Okay. So, something from World War One, like the B4. Bam. There we go. Good. And fire. All right. We killed it. In one. Amazing. Hey, would you look at that? All of the uh, the track dust is actually coming through the things. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, can we get up here? Yes. All right. The last thing we actually need to check is if we can cross trenches. So, yeah. Let's get over to a trench and see if we can go across it. Okie dokie. We're at the trenches. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, we are slowly breaking our engine, which is uh, very unfortunate, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go forwards. Here we go. And, you know, there's like nothing on the top either, but I kind of wanted it to be like that. So we're going to leave that as is. But let's see how this goes. Here we go. All of our weights at the back so we can actually just drive straight across. Amazing. That worked. Okay, I spawned in a Model 1. I spawned in a Model 1 and we killed it straight away. Amazing. I actually really want to build something like that too in the future. But, uh, yeah, what we've got right now, pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, there is one more thing that I want to do too. If we go to the tracks, there we go, go to layout, the length of them, I want to be huge, there we go, and then I want to change the segments to look like this, and then that looks way better. That looks way, way, way better. Alright, cool. Can you have spare tracks on the roof? There we go. I can't actually link them in with each other, but that's okay. We can just have them go down the sides of the top, just like this. And that looks okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, on this side, it doesn't look right. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, right, put all these back down as they were. And then we'll sort it out after that. Although, actually, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Delete all of them. Grab this one. Turn it around, just like this. 
They're like backwards. Oh, I hate the way this mirrors. I hate the way it mirrors. It's very annoying. There we go. We'll have it go somewhat like this, and then we'll have the same thing on this side. Do the exact same all the way up, and we'll be good. There we go. Something like that. Pretty cool. All right. Well, anyway, this thing has uh, proved itself against two World War One tanks. Let's go ahead and give it one more last battle against the Chromtilda, which is early war. Let's see if this works. All right. Here we go. So we should have less armor than it. We should have a smaller gun, but we should be able to just kill it, which indeed we can. There we go. It's dead already. Okay. So since that wasn't any good, let's go for a mid-war tank now. There we go. And see if we can take that out too. Okay. We bounced off this one. This is going to be way more tricky. Oh, okay. No, we banned stuff again. It's killed everyone. <laughs> it killed me. I'm dead. Okay, so that's it. Mid-war is our limit. Interesting. Alright, well anyway, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, leave a like on the video down below. If you didn't, then let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see. And uh, we'll see what we can do in the future. But anyway, for right now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.